Okay, so the last type of learning that you can do is with these FET labs. Now, these will sometimes come up with this message here. If this happens, click Continue to the legacy version, attempt to view the simulation anyway, and then you've got to click to enable this. This will take us back to the front page, and we're just going to click back through. This is because of changes that have happened in FET recently to some of the simulations. So if I continue the legacy version, I see my simulation comes up. Most of the time, this works much, much better. OK, so now I've got my simulation going, and I can click on it, and it all works just fine. On the left-hand side, we've got the instructions and our points bar, as we've had before. Um, peer assessment requests, which again, we'll talk about later. Predictions. Uh, sometimes there are predictions. In this case, there's no prediction to, to go with. And we have questions. So these are just the things that you want to be working on for these. So I'm going to click the Show Sum button here, and um, I'm going to add in a few of these vectors just here. And you notice this green vector um, added in here. I'm going to add a few more of those in. I can move these around a little bit like so. OK, good. Uh, so I've done what the question's asked, and now I'm going to go back to the question. Um, is there only one way to get the green arrow from what you have? Could you use other red vectors and the same answer? And so I'm going to type in my answer. I'm going to click off that, so it saves. And then I've done that. And I, you see I got some points for that, and I've done my simulation. With simulations, a lot of the time, you just kind of want to play around with the simulation as well. Like, you want to see what's happening. This is your chance virtually to do the experiments that we unfortunately like can't do in school. So it's a nice way for you to see how the, the physics will actually behave in the real world.